happening today. 83 schools in El Paso's school district are welcoming back students. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in West El Paso with more on how the district is helping students cope following the mass shooting. EPISD students will be heading back to class bright and early today, but students and parents have more on their minds on this first day of school than they probably have had in years past. However, EPISD wants to assure parents and students that they wouldn't have students come back to school if it wasn't safe. Now, EPISD said in a statement, quote, for years, EPISD has spent time and resources strengthening its security systems, which include a full-fledged police department, updated camera and radio system. Now, EPISD says that student safety is their top priority and reassuring parents with elementary age kids that they have a secure entry mechanism that limits visitors to elementary schools to only those people who have business at campus. Now, EPISD is the third school in the district to head back to school and students from Mountain View High School in the Clint ISD have words of advice and encouragement for EPISD students heading back to school about how they can be there for their fellow classmates who may be struggling with the mass shooting. Stay strong. Um, it wasn't one of our own that did this. Um, we are built on love and peace, and I really, truly believe that that's what El Paso is. Um, I, anyone can um, tell you when they visit, um, be there for one another and share the love. Share the love. Some of that love being spread as students from Terrace Hills Middle School will get new backpacks stuffed with school supplies that were donated from the Great Khalid Foundation that was founded by Emmy-nominated and El Paso native recording artist Khalid. Now those backpacks will be delivered at 9.30 this morning. And just a reminder, experts from Emergence Health Network want to remind parents that it's better to have an open conversation with your kids about the mass shooting at home before they hear about it at school first. Reporting Live in West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSN 9 News. All right, thank you, Shelby.